The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. And we are joined by the head coach, Chris Ramirez. Coach, your team is moving on to the SAC championship game tomorrow. 3-0 to start this tournament, a convincing 11-2 win over Wingate. What impressed you the most about the way your team played today? Uh, you, first, you got to talk about, you know, Eddie on the mound. Um, you know, dominant start. Uh, he's been lights out for us. He's been getting stronger as the season's gone on, and, and he continued that uh, today with a great outing, getting us deep. Um, you know, this is a tough tournament. There's a lot of really good teams. Um, and if you can go get, you know, quality starts like we've been able to get so far, it just sets us up. I um, feel like we got a really fresh bullpen. Everybody's up tomorrow and, and ready to go. Yeah, you touched on Austin Edwards, transfer from Western Illinois, first year with your program, and his last two starts now, 14 innings, only two earned runs, 16 strikeouts. What has changed recently with him to have this much success? Well, you know, he, he's always been an extremely talented kid, and, um, you know, he's a new guy in our program, and he's just, you know, Coach Beasley's done a great job with him and, you know, just getting him, you know, just clean, probably just cleaning it up a little, you know, and becoming a true starter and, um, you know, throwing multiple pitches. Today he had his changeup going. They got a lot of left-handed hitters in their lineup, and, you know, he was able to keep those guys off balance, you know, another talented team. Um, you know, so he's just gotten stronger as the seasons went on. Eric Ramirez, who we'll talk to in just a little bit, three hits out of the bottom of the order as the nine-hole hitter. I mean, is this one of the best nine-hole hitters you've had in recent memory as a head coach? <laughs> yeah, no, and we talk about that. You know, one of the strengths of our team not, is not necessarily that we have, you know, one superstar or two superstars that are going to carry us, and if those guys don't get the big hits, then we're going to struggle that day. You know, we're more like the team that's balanced one through nine, and, you know, we'd like to think, you know, our, our seven, eight, nine could go hit, you know, one and two and um, in a lot of guys' lineups and, you know, you know, Stober and him have done a really good job this, you know, this tournament, you know, getting on base at the bottom of the lineup and causing some havoc for the other team. And lastly, Coach, you've got a chance to win a SAC tournament. Lenore Ryan has not won a SAC tournament since 2001. You need one more win to do so. What does that mean heading into tomorrow for you? Oh, it means a lot. You know, Lenore Ryan baseball has been around for 92 years, and there's been, you know, some good history and a lot of great baseball guys and baseball players and alumni, you know, that have set the foundation and, and um, you know, done some good things here. So to be a part of, you know, that and, you know, to do things that haven't been done in 92 years, you know, means a lot, um, you know, to, to us and to our coaching staff, to our players, um, you know, and definitely to our community and, um, you know, to the LR community. You know, the support we get at LR is awesome. Coach, thanks so much for the time. Congrats on the win and uh, get some rest. Yeah, hey, thanks for having me. Shout out. I, got, I think I got a lot of mom, dad, grandparents, a lot of a lot of people watching back home in the Midwest and all over the country. So appreciate everybody watching. No doubt, no doubt. Thanks for your time. Thank you.